in the uh, Washington Post this morning suggesting uh, that the White House is ready to reverse uh, its own Attorney General, uh, Eric Holder, on this and end up uh, trying uh, uh, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and maybe other uh, terror suspects uh, in military tribunals like the Bush administration did. Uh, I can tell you, just got off the phone with, with the top official at the American Civil Liberties Union who was saying he's getting more and more frustrated because he thinks this White House uh, is behaving a lot like the Bush administration on these war on terror issues. I just spoke to some senior White House aides who insist no decision's been made yet, and they think this is kind of being blown a bit out of proportion. But I think when you take a step back, it really just shows uh, how this White House has been under fire on, on all angles. There's another example where some of their own people on the left are getting frustrated with them, uh, yep. like they have on health care with some of the compromises, that maybe too many compromises are now being made on the war on terror as well. Alex. Now, this conversation sounds like, I mean, you're, you're an insider to some degree. You get access to a whole lot of people. Sounds like the White House isn't having this conversation all that openly just yet. No, I mean, look, they are, are trying to sort this out. And then let's uh, acknowledge that these are very difficult issues about where you're going to try these, right, these they're terror two, They're suspects. two distinct issues, no right? There's the, 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 the civilian court versus a military tribunal and the different rules and standards of those courts. And then there's the security issue of where you hold such a trial. Absolutely. And, and, you know, when Eric Holder announced that they wanted to do these as civilian trials, uh, it was very clear in saying, uh, you know, this is a chance for the U.S. to step up and show uh, that the rule of law is there and that we're better than the terrorists, essentially. And I think uh, what this White House runs a risk of is facing these allegations now uh, that the politics of the situation are sort of forcing them uh, to reverse themselves and not let uh, th this go forward in civilian court. So this is going to be something to keep a close eye on.